Okay, um, my, uh, camera is actually dead, so I had to use my phone. Um, so, once again, the quality is a little bit, uh, less than what would be desired, I guess you could say. Um, but, uh, the, the problem is asking for the exact value of inverse cosine of cosine 7 pi over 5. And it asks to state the condition that must be satisfied. Um, in order for the inverse cosine to equal the cosine of x, um, x has to be uh, less than or equal to pi, or greater than or equal to zero. So, just based on that, you can tell 7 pi over 5 is definitely quite a bit larger than pi. And it's larger than zero, so that doesn't satisfy. So what you need to do is find the, um, or find cosine uh, 7 pi over 5 or the angle 7 pi over 5, its reference angle, and then go from there. Um, 7 pi over 5 is actually easier to look at it if it's separated into the fraction, um, or there's remaining, or there's a remainder, sorry. You can see here that that's what, it's actually 1 two-fifths pi. So that maps down here. And then to find the reference angle, you can take in take into consideration that pi is is just um, over um, on this side where it's uh, 180 degrees. It's actually um, pi. And if you want to convert that over to a form where you can figure out what the reference angle is, you can actually see that you can just put it into an equivalent form like five pi over five because that equals one pi. So that's what I did there. So 7 pi over 5 minus 5 pi over 5 which equals 2 pi over 5. So to figure out what the actual angle is for the inverse cosine, you just take the um, you just take 5 pi, 5 pi over 5 minus 2 pi over 5 which you go 3 pi over 5. And that would actually make it work. Um, and that is actually in the second um, the second quadrant where it's supposed to be, the uh, inverse cosine can only be in the first and second quadrant. So that satisfies it. Um, you can definitely see that 3 pi over 5 is less than uh, pi and greater than 0. So that's how you can find the angle, the equivalent angle.